All right, guys, this is uh, George Smith, a.k.a. X-Rail, I am Hotep Jet, Atum L. Um, ran across a interesting article um, while talking to uh, someone about their, um, their particular case. And, you know, this happened to run across this article talking about the Department of Justice warns state child support enforcement agencies of illegal practices. Now let me take a swig of my Heineken. Ah, so this was written May 5th, 2016 by Robert Franklin Esquire, member of the National Board of Directors for National Parents Organization. So I imagine this organization probably goes against uh, the Child Support Enforcement Agency, or at least they got ill feelings toward them, which I can agree with totally. Uh, so let's, let's read through this thing. It's important that we learn to read and even enjoy reading because let me tell y'all what reading is. Reading is like opening up Pandora's box. Reading is like cracking a code. Um, Amen says reading is fun to your mental. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, as a society, we've been taught not to read in government uh, educational directives actually dumb down government schools. So you wonder why the kids are so fucking dumb. They don't know when the Civil War was. They don't know what the Declaration of Independence is. They don't know what the Bill of Rights is. Uh, they're like just empty, sh they're empty shells. They're just pounds of flesh walking around stupider than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So um, we, we are actually the gods walking around. I don't know what you want to call them. People are so fucked up. You got Caitlyn Jenner, whatever the fuck that is. I mean... That's, that's some weird ass shit, bro. <laughs> but anyway, let's, um, let's stick to uh, the, Depart the Department of Justice warning the state child support enforcement agency. So they're on watch, fellas. They are on watch. The feds is watching these motherfuckers because they're violating so many laws because that's how money hungry these motherfuckers are. You know what I'm saying? They money hungry. So even the feds are looking at him like, what the fuck are you doing? And with Donald Trump, I may write, I may try to write Donald Trump. I try, might try to write Jeff Sessions about this shit. And we'll see what they come up with. See what kind of response they have. But all right, five years ago, the United States Supreme Court ruled in Turner versus Rogers that state judges are required to hold a hearing to determine whether a parent who's behind on his or her support obligations Remember, obligations is contract, so you don't want to be that, or an obligor, should be jailed for contempt. In some cases, the parent may be entitled to an attorney paid for by the state. There's actually a court case that says that the states do not have to provide an attorney uh, for a litigant in a child support case. But... Um, but let's keep reading on. But in all cases, prior to committing him to jail, the court must find not only that the parent hasn't paid, but also failure to do so is willful. It as he, she has the ability to pay, but hasn't. But all too often, state bureaucrats in child support enforcement authority and family court cases simply ignore the requirements laid down by the court in Turner. Now the Department of Justice have issued a Dear Colleague letter informing recipients that their failure to follow the dictates of Turner can subject them to civil liability under federal civil rights statute 42 U.S.C. 1983. And that's 
this guy here. Um, let's read this real quick. So every person who, under color of any statute, ordinance, regulation, custom, or usage of any state or territory, or the District of Columbia, subjects or causes to be subjected any citizen of the United States or any other person within the jurisdiction thereof to the deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunity secured by the Constitution and laws shall be liable to the party, that's you, injured in an action at law, which is a lawsuit, suit in equity, or other proper proceedings for redress. I always talk about redress. You know what? They going to do what they do, man. If they're going to legally do some shit, they're just going to do it, and there's pretty much nothing you could do to stop them at that time. But what you want to do is build up your case, file everything in the court docket, so then when you appeal, everything is on record. And you can, and you can show that uh, they're violating the law. Except that any action brought against a judicial officer for an act or omission taken in such offers judicial capacity, injunctive relief shall not be granted unless a declaratory decree was violated or declaratory relief was unavailable. For the purposes of this section, any act of Congress applicable exclusively to the District of Columbia shall be considered to be a statute of the District of Columbia. You know why they're saying District of Columbia, right? Because that's where the United States Corporation resides. And if you see my last video um, explaining um, the law of contracts and um, I think it was Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17, uh, also explain, explaining where the United States physically holds their jurisdiction. So, so anyway, uh, back to the article here. So, no, now the Department of Justice... Okay, I read that. And so, okay, in due course... Commissioner Vicki Tereski of the Federal Office of Child Support Enforcement informed state officers of their responsibility to find a willful refusal to pay before a non-custodial parent can be sent to jail. Again, if you don't sign a contract, if they send you to jail, you could sue their ass, right? <laughs> They can't just send you to jail because they want you to pay, right? So that's when you take it in the federal court and the feds is already watching them. And trust me, they don't want you taking these, these fucking cases in the federal court. They, they don't want that. They don't want that because that means you're fucking with the money. They don't want you doing that. They'd rather dismiss it than do that. But these people are pretty goddamn ignorant. They ignorant. They're not ignorant. They ignorant. <laughs> That's some Midwest shit from Arizona. They ignorant. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So here's the letter from um, Vicky Tereski. One purpose of the DOJ letter is to address some of the most common practices that run afoul of the United States Constitution and other federal laws. See, federal laws are not the Constitution. These are statutes. Right. And I know Rick W is talking about Donald Trump um, reading a U.S. code, which is a federal law passed by, uh, which is a statute that means it's passed by a legislature, but it is not the law of the land and a statute cannot go against the Constitution. So that's why the state of Washington can challenge a federal statute because if it goes against the Constitution and states' rights, they have every right in a federal court to be heard on the issue. So that's why, you know, Donald Trump reading it says it's written, yeah, it is written nicely, but if it's written in such a way to go against the United States Constitution, it can be challenged by the states. And so that's 
basically what they're doing. So uh, some of the most common practices that run afoul of the United States Constitution and other federal laws and to assist court leadership in ensuring that courts at every level of the justice system operate fairly and lawfully. The letter states that courts may not incarcerate a person for non-payment of fees and fines without first conducting an indigency determination and establishing that the failure to pay was willful. And now let me stop right here that they can't incarcerate you fucking period. <laughs> they can't, if you don't sign it, this is if they signed a contract. And I want to make that clear. The con the contextual, um, I guess, grievances that the feds are addressing here, these are for people who signed up for child support or did not rebut the assumption that they are the pituitive father. And we all know what pituitive means from uh, about, I think it was my last video. So they can't incarcerate you, period, with no contract. No contract, no law, no jurisdiction, case dismissed. If not, then you appeal. So the letter states that courts may not incarcerate a person for non-payment of fees and fines without first conducting an indigency determination and establishing that the failure to pay was willful. In addition, courts must consider alternatives to incarceration for indigent defendants who are unable to pay. The letter provides that courts must also provide meaningful notice and, in appropriate cases, counsel when enforcing fines and fees. And must not and must not use arrest warrants or license suspensions as a means of coercing the payment of a court debt when individuals have not been afforded constitutionally adequate procedural protections. Right. So the, even the feds recognize that our constitution is being fucking violated, and I think what they mean by adequate procedural protections is also due process of law. So always, that you know, um, uh, what is that? Uh, I don't know if this is. OCSE's action transmittal 12-01 provides clarity to the courts regarding their legal duty to inquire about a parent's ability to pay prior to incarceration for non-payment, which specifically refers to Turner versus Rogers ruling. Civil contempt that leads to incarceration is not, nor should it be, standard or routine child support practice. By implementing procedures to individually screen cases prior to initiating a civil contempt case and providing appropriate notice to alleged contempt, contempt norms, Concerning the nature and purpose of the proceeding, child support programs will help ensure that inappropriate civil contempt cases will not be brought. Did you ever think you would live to see the day when the head of the top child support enforcement agency in the country would acknowledge that some of the collection practices of the state have been illegal and even unconstitutional? <laughs> We've been seeing that shit the whole time. Truly, change is in the wind, and NPO is fanning it. And NPO is the National Parents Organization. Might want to keep an eye on these guys. Child support enforcement is harsh enough as it is. Kudos to the DOJ and the OCSE, oh, that's Office of Child Support Enforcement, sorry, for forcing states to abide by the law as laid down by the U.S. Supreme Court. So, you know, obviously right here, uh, you, you definitely want to look up this case, Turner versus Rogers. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to Google Scholar and type in case law right there. Probably federal case law. Let's look it up. I, I advise everybody to uh, get with this site versus Rogers. Oh, I think. 
They got it right here, y'all. Right here. Turner versus Rogers. Uh, 131 Supreme Court, 2507, decision made in 2011. All right. Now, I'm not going to read this whole thing. This is this is your guys' assignment. <laughs> I may come back and do an analysis on this after reading through it, but, uh, I mean, they made it all the way to the Supreme Court, so this is, this is precedent. This is precedent through all court cases. So I'll let you guys read through that. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Um, you know, peace to the gods, peace to Amen, peace to Rick, uh, peace to everybody out there, you know, in this child support struggle bullshit or any legal trouble um, with the, you know, where these fucking snakes are trying to just get money out of you. But it's another video, another informative video. Hopefully it does somebody some good. Uh, hopefully it lifts the spirits of my brothers and sisters out there. Hopefully this is a, a way to for you to get closer to your family or at least your kids. I know in my situation, my baby mom's, <laughs> you know, she hates my guts for because I didn't want to marry her. <laughs> I didn't want to take care of her marriage because she fucking cheated on me. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all good. Um, but every time I do stuff like this for you guys, I feel good about it, man. And, um, and hopefully you feel good about it, too, knowing that you at least... You should feel good about having a fighting chance. Now, this is beyond a fighting chance. This is a fucking knockout. But you should feel good because, you know, when I was going through my child support, my dad told me, you just going to have to pay. All right? There's no way, no way in hell you could uh, defeat these people. You're going to have to pay. But, you know, going through Amen, seeing Rick, he got two people off. I think today, he put out a video today, he got two people's uh, cases dismissed so far. Hey, man, that's only the beginning. So, you know, kudos out to Rick. He's a good he's a good dude, man. Uh, we, we need more police officers like Rick W., man. Need more guys like that, man. I'm not saying all cops are bad, but you got a few bad apples out there that's just pulling the trigger like crazy. So... Um, you know, peace to everybody in the struggle, peace to all the gods and the earths, um, peace to all good women who know how to take care of, of men and know how to talk to men, um, you know, peace to everybody out there doing the right thing and not committing transgressions against God. Because every time you ask these people for benefits, you're trading in your rights for benefits, man. You can't do that, y'all. We got to get our own communities and start to feed ourselves, do our own irrigation, own planting, own, own cropping, um, start having our babies at home, do midwives. I mean, they still got midwives out there. I was looking it up the other day. So do your own private contracts without the fucking state. You're sovereign. I know people are sovereign citizen murder. I don't give a fuck what they label me. Just know that I'm a smart motherfucker and I might be smarter than you. That's all you need to be concerned with. That's all that, I don't give a fuck what label. Deadbeat. They got so many labels. For me, I, they're fucking demons. So whatever you call me, you're a demon. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you call me. So I'm constitutional. You're goddamn right I'm a constitutionalist, fucker. This nation wouldn't exist without the Constitution, you bastards. I don't give a fuck what they label me. I label them demons. If they ask me, oh, are you one of those constitutions? I'm like, oh, are you one of those fucking Satanist demons? Fucker. Get the fuck out of my face, man. Hey, this is fucking I Am Hotel. Peace to the gods and earth. I'm out.